It's another beautiful day on Monster Hunter. Next to my good old pal, Kagiro the Merchant. Or in other words, Kagiro the Scammer, because he never gives me my talisman that I want. But I literally saw a video where there was like a one in one million quarter million fucking chance, whatever the hell number that was. It was a big number. And I was like, that is ridiculous. Like, why is that even a thing? Who thought that was a good idea? So yeah, um, this video is just going to be about event quests. I did say I was going to make it a event quest video. My last video was like 20 minutes long. That is way too long. I want to keep it simple, make it like 10 minutes, you know. I'm going to be doing it on with friends. I'm going to do the one that I think is the hardest. If I didn't do the hardest one, just put it in the comments if you think there's a harder one than any of these. And then I will do that one. I already did all the four star, five star one because who cares about those? I might even do all the six star one. But anyways, I think this one is the hardest. I'm assuming this one is the hardest. Is it between this one or, or this one? Cause I'm Misu, the, the one on the left side, I, I don't even remember the name. He's annoying as hell just to fight him regularly. So I can't picture him just slipping and sliding in the apex form. But first of all, I've gotten a ton of comments on my other video, the console 100 experience video. There was so many tips. I love when you guys comment and give me tips. It gives me knowledge and it makes me stronger. So you guys said that you want me to counter more. Okay. The reason I don't counter that much is because I'm completely scared. I feel like I'm going to get hit every single time. So I was like, my safe bet is just to run away instead of just taking a chance of countering something when I could have just dodged it. Unless I got my 100% positive, I'm going to dodge it. Then I might counter it. Most of my counters are just like um by accident. So you have this guy doing all this nonsense. So you honestly have three counters with the long sword and i think one of them is completely useless so if i was to hit him a couple of times and just keep doing that you have this counter but that uses up all your bars i could actually hit the damn thing the damn stupid stomp just keeps messing me up all right this got a little bit of energy okay, you got this little move dodge a little stomp you hit him right that's one the evasion i mean counter and then you have the regular one you could keep doing which is the special sheath and if you do it to the side correctly you could hit it which i obviously messed up there but i have it now watch i lied listen i haven't played in mad long okay I, I don't know why i'm missing this and the reason i haven't played in mad long because i've did so much in the game already in like such a little bit of time even though i was trying to take my time i literally only have the event quest left in this game and i have nothing else to do to be straight up with you the last things would have to be just doing um whatever that shit's called just learning a new weapon to be honest like the light bulb i want to learn that light bulb then the light bulb is pretty cool there you go right there but it's like you can't go directly into them you have to like go like on the side because if you go directly into them it's going to fuck up still like it's not going to work and then the third one would be this one and that takes up two wire bugs yeah it takes up two wire bugs and a full color of your your thing but since i have no more like charge on my blade and it's just a regular color i still can do it it's not going to do enough damage but it still uses up a whole charge so i feel like all of them are useless besides this one specifically this right here because i when i do that i could get out of there and do this and do my counter again so it would be this this counter if i can do this i went the wrong way and then do it again to get a charge up and then i'll do this and then i will do this but in that video, I was more fighting like a really tough enemy I'd never fought before. Like that was literally the first I killed them in my first try. So that's why I was running away a lot. But for this event quest, I will try to use my counters a little bit more. But I'm 100% positive. I'm just going to be running away most of the time. All right, we're going to be doing this with random people just because it makes it a little bit more interesting. And we could just watch people fuck up if they do. Or we could just watch me just fuck up the team, I guess. Make it a little bit more interesting. And I, and I just want the rewards, to be honest. All right, quick and simple video. I'm really stressing about that Diablo. I'll be real honest with you. I don't even think people are going to be doing this quest i'll be i'll be honest for some reason people don't be doing the event quest because they're so but that was back then when i was playing like hard now i guess people finish the story and stuff maybe they'll be playing the event quest i really don't want to do this quest by myself okay so i tried multiple times i'll try one more time just for good luck all right wow immediately rejected me and looks like we cannot play this with no one looks like we're going to be doing this by ourselves oh we spawned right next to them i like that okay nice all the potions are ours let me just make this a public service announcement if you're playing with four people if you're the first one that leave the camp 
and you take more than two stacks of potions, you're an asshole. Because you're being inconsiderate of that other guy who needs four potions. Listen, it's an unwritten rule, and you can do whatever the fuck you want, but have some respect for your other hunters, okay? Because I, I, sometimes I'm that guy who comes to the box and then I have no potion for myself. Anyways, I'm here to beat your ass. I'm going to teach you a val val valuable lesson. Now, does he have new moves or something? I have no idea. We will see. See, dodging is just way better. Oh, I do not want to know how much damage that does. No, oh my God, it's so much damage. He's fucking, it's fucking Mortal Kombating me right now. He did so much damage. And then he throws a boulder. What the fuck? You know, 100% my fault. I, I didn't, you know, take the defense up. I'm being, I'm being very stupid right now. I am absolutely terrified to fight the Diablo and shit now. Come on, come to the come to the thing. What are you, where are you going? There we go. Okay, nice. So I like to see. Where the hell is he going? Oh my god, bro! Apex monsters are crazy. Oh, you see, this is why I don't counter. This is exactly why I don't counter. I think I picked way too hard of a quest. I'm not going to lie. Because I know once that Diablo pops up, I'm so screwed. What? Oh, my God, bro. Maybe, maybe I overestimated these Apex monsters. You know, it's just a warm up. It's literally just a warm up. I feel like I will be able to kill an Apex Diablos. I don't know why. So let's do two Apex Diablos and see how that goes. Great thing about this is like, at least I'll have an idea of what I'm going to do next. Because if this is too hard for me, I could just do regular Apex monsters one by one and then train myself up to fight the biggest guys. Oh, he looks like a black Diablo. So he looks crazy. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Fun fact. Um... I actually hate the Diablos. I feel like he's the most annoyingest monster in the game to be straight up with you. The hell is he fighting? Oh, you fucking fishes, you asshole. The fuck kind of like, is he a worm? Okay, here we go. I'm beating his ass. No, you fucking. Yo, these little monsters are literally sabotaging my experience. Oh my god, he's just on me. He's just on me. Give me a break, please. Yo! I have a long way to go. I have so much to learn. You know, a lot of these event quests, I, I'm, you know, I'm just getting a little taste of it, you know? The reason I'm abandoning the quest too is because if I died the first time fighting the Diablos, that means there's no way I'm going to be able to fight two of them. But I know for sure I could at least kill an Apex Bear. I could kill an Apex Bear by himself. I know that for a fact. I could kill Apex Diablos by themselves. But maybe I'm overestimating myself. You know what? Let's, let's just try this. Let's just try this. Maybe I can't kill an Apex Bear by myself. Ooh, got me a little lucky life. All right, you already know what time it is. Dodger boulder, bitch. Okay, this is very bad. No, you not hit me with that rock. Go, got him knocked down again. Oh, I was waiting for him to attack. I think you could counter the fucking, um, I think you could counter his raw or two. No, do you see the dodging? Maybe I should use a different weapon since I don't use the counters that much. Oh, you're running away so early. What are you scared of? How do they even become apexes? Like where did, how, like, where are you getting these powers from? I didn't counter right there. What? It looks so perfect too. Okay, this guy gets knocked down way too easy. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, I'm in the corner. That's the one shot thing he'd be doing too. No. 
There we go. On the floor again. That's so weird. Oh yeah, you're getting your ass beat. Holy shit. This is amazing. This is amazing right now. See, I can do it. I'm probably not even gonna die. I know I should be dodging right here, but I don't know how I didn't get hit. Like, I just trusted myself. Oh, you don't. oh how the fuck did that shit? No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm realizing with a lot of these Apex monsters, like, it has to do more with patience than anything else, to be honest. Because they're always going to have these situations where they, like, do these bursts of combos and repeated attacks. And once they calm down a little bit, it's almost like they lost stamina. And then I feel like, like, that's the time to, like, go in and immediately fuck him up. And now he's running like a bitch. Oh, how the hell did that hit me? Yeah, I'm way too overqualified for this. I'm going to just capture him. Can you capture Apex monsters? I don't even know. Okay, I don't think you can capture Apex monsters. I'll be straight up honest with you. I think it's because he's too big. So I have to use the pitfall trap. Oh god. Yo, he's fucking comboing me again. What the hell? He reminds me of that beer from Tekken. I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was just so simple. That was literally the most simplest fight ever. So do we get like any new Apex loot? Is that like a thing too? Like, yeah, you don't get nothing new. There's nothing like it doesn't say Apex something. It doesn't. That's kind of whack. So I, I guess you just get more like rewards. You know, this gold that sells for a lot, but you know, money's not the problem. Okay, I feel like Apex monsters are kind of useless. Bro, I swear Barreth armor is so ugly. Bro, what the fuck did I earn from doing that? Like, I feel like I didn't earn anything. I, it felt like nothing. So apparently you get these glasses. Kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. And I have to kill him again. Like, bro, look at this. This is Apex Beast Claw. Like, I can't even make Apex armor at all. I wish it was Apex armor. Maybe that's a, a Sunbreaker thing. Okay, so I'm definitely going to make this a serious thing because I don't want the video to be too long. I'm expecting 10 minutes of editing. Well, 10 minute, a 10 minute video from me editing all this time of me playing. So the plan is to be strong enough to kill all three of these guys. So the next two quests I'll be doing is slaying an Apex Raytheon. And then we're going to slay an Apex Diablos. And then we'll just do the main quest where we kill all three of them. Sounds like a plan. Enemy is about to scan the area. 